thousands of miles from Tokyo, Yuri Hudi's family awaits Bernard's arrival. Even in remote corners of the tundra, news travels by radio and word of mouth. After a two-day drive, Bernard's search is over. Ever since Liuba's discovery, he's wondered why she appeared on a riverbank and where she really came from. Months after his discovery, Yuri understands that whatever his feelings about Liuba, the mammoth is important for science, and he's prepared to help Bernard if he can. Yuri's wife and their family are well aware that outsiders view the baby mammoth's arrival as a blessing, not a curse. As an honor, the Salikhart administration named the mammoth Lyuba after Yuri's wife. Are you Lyuba? Nice to meet you. So the baby mammoth was named after you. Yes, but I don't like that. Because finding mammoth remains for us, well, how can I explain? Uh, it's a bad omen to find something like this. It may even be a curse. That's why I don't like this baby mammoth that much. After months of second-hand stories about the baby mammoth, Bernard is grateful for the family's candor and asks Yuri to share his story. So after you found Yuba, you left for Yersale, and afterwards you returned to the tundra? You know, it's really a strange story. When I first saw it, I thought it was a baby elephant. It made me uneasy. But then I realized what it was, and I went to see my friend Kirill. It was Kirill who called the administration, and they sent Andrei Gusev from the museum in Selihar to meet us. So we took him back to the tundra to pick up the baby mammoth. But when we got there, my wife Luba said that the mammoth was gone. It was a bad sign. The helicopter had to go, but Andrei stayed on with us. I couldn't believe it. First, the mammoth threat to my family. And now this? Would everyone think that I made the whole thing up? But at least I knew I could show him where it was, where I found the mammoth. I was glad that he believed my story. He made photos. He took GPS coordinates. But he was pretty upset about the mammoth disappearing. He didn't know how he was going to explain the situation to the authorities, but he had to report it and try to get Luba back. The administration in Yarsale got everyone to help. The mayor, the police, even the army. It took them only a few hours to figure out where she was. They said the baby mammoth was in Novi Port and asked Andrei, Kirill, and me to meet them there. I had to make sure the museum got the mammoth. Then they would be responsible for her. In Novi Port, the police were a big help. The man who stole it gave it to a merchant. The guy told him the baby mammoth could sell for a lot of money. But when he found out that the police were after him, he carried it outside and put it on display. For the people, he said. The police warned him that the mammoth belonged to the administration. They didn't arrest him, but they took away the mammoth. After all the trouble we went to, I was relieved that she was in good hands. But at that point, we had to move fast. It was warming up, and Andrei was worried that Luba would start to decay before he could get her back to the museum. 